Welcome to yet another discussion, Dr. R S and you, on the science of cosmetics and personal care products. Today, part fifty-one, we will discuss about calamine lotion. So, part fifty-one, calamine lotion, B P, British Pharmacopoeia and Indian Pharmacopoeia says calamine lotion. but united states pharmacopoeia nomenclatures as calamin topical suspension so why i want to discuss calamin lotion is after uh, discussing the theory of uh, suspensions it's a very very typical suspension so we will discuss about calamin lotion right so what is calamin Calamin is zinc oxide with small proportion of ferric oxide and contains after ignition not less than 98% or not more than 100.5% of zinc oxide. Right? So calamin is zinc oxide blended with iron oxide. So the assay should be done after ignition loss on ignition to do the assay uh, analysis and then after that you can you have to take that sample and then assay for zinc oxide okay calamine lotion has calamine as one of the ingredients calamine lotion is an anti pruritic that is anti itching astringent and mild antiseptic so any allergic manifestation calamine lotion can be applied because it's anti pruritic anti itching and also in case of prickly heat calamine lotion works very effectively as an astringent and a mild antiseptic and anti pruritic so calamine lotion indian pharmacopoeia and british pharmacopoeia what is the formula they give calamine 150 g zinc oxide 50 g bentonite 30 g sodium citrate 5 g liquid liquid liquefied phenol 5 ml glycerin 50 ml purified water freshly boiled and cooled sufficient to produce 1000 ml right so these are all added in grams and finally made up to n ml okay the whole preparation is done in a mortar and pestle right mortar this is the mortar and this is the pestle right so first titrate calamine and zinc oxide and bentonite with a solution of sodium citrate in 700 ml of water so 700 ml of water make a sodium citrate solution you titrate bentonite zinc oxide calamine zinc, uh, zinc oxide and bentonite in the mortar and pestle and later add the liquefied phenol the glycerin and sufficient purified water to make to 1000 ml so this is a very very simple uh, process right where you blend the powders then make a solution of sodium citrate and liquefied phenol add glycerin and the remaining water so sodium citrate act as a buffer here glycerin is a humectant right bentonite is the suspending agent bentonite is the suspending agent these two are actives zinc oxide and calamine so this has some of the aspects of a typical suspension right it has a buffer it has a suspending agent it has a humectant It's okay. So now, 
this lotion can be made in the uh, as a in the mortar and pestle right so triturate means you have to triturate in the mortar and pestle and then make the product and uh, this can be dispensed in a pharmacy right uh, immediately you can make it in the pharmacy so liquefied phenol if you want to make it in the house you have to be careful with the liquefied phenol because it can burn the skin you have to be you have to careful liquid liquefied phenol you take uh, if you if you take get a small bottle of uh, small sample of liquefied phenol you have to handle very carefully because it will burn the skin right so liquefied phenol it's it acts as an antiseptic here and also as a preservative right now the same formula usp nf national united states pharmacopia national formulary 24 calamine topical suspension their formula is 80 grams calamine zinc oxide 80 grams glycerin 20 ml bentonite magma 250 ml magma is 5% dispersion of bentonite in water is bentonite magma and calcium hydroxide topical solution quantity 2000 ml so calcium hydroxide topical solution is calcium hydroxide 3 grams purified water 100 ml add calcium hydroxide to water agitate frequently for 1 hour allow to settle use the supernatant liquid right this is calcium hydroxide topical solution that is used in the formula right so this formula i i guess it's it will be more stable than the previous one for the reason of the see the method of preparation dilute bentonite magma with an equal volume of calcium hydroxide topical solution right bentonite magma is 250 ml plus 250 ml of calcium hydroxide solution right here the calcium hydroxide solution is a vehicle and it is is also a mild astringent so 250 ml of magma bentonite magma and 250 ml of calcium hydroxide solution right equal volume of mix the powders intimately with glycerin okay so take the powders calamine and zinc oxide mix it with glycerin so this step we discussed in the theories of uh, suspension where when you mix it with glycerin these powders get a coat of glycerin and when you get the coat of glycerin then they are easily dispersible in the in water right glycerin is soluble in water so glycerin replaces some of the surface air in these powders so that when when uh, when these powders are dispersed in water it it gets therefore easily dispersed so this is one modification that is done in usp right uh, so you can try ip uh, whatever uh, whatever uh, the the ip formula what you can possibly do is you can first disperse the powders in glycerin and then you can try the uh, the method because uh, in the glycerin uh, glycerin little glycerin water the powders will wet very well so here that's the difference mix the powders intimately with glycerin and 100 ml of the diluted magma out of 
this 500 ml take 100 ml of the magma plus 20 ml of glycerin right and then mix the powders with the with glycerin and 100 ml of the magma triturating in the mortar and pestle until smooth uniform paste is formed gradually incorporate the remainder of diluted magma right that is 400 ml remaining gradually incorporate it finally add enough calcium hydroxide topical solution to make it to 1000 ml so the difference in uh, method of preparation here is you are first wetting calcium calamine and uh, zinc oxide with glycerin right so this is uh, one difference with uh, in the method of preparation compared to calamine lotion ip so this is a good method so these are the two uh, pharmacopoeial preparations of calamine lotion so pharmacopoeia gives the formula and it's a good lead for uh, the manufacture of the uh, for uh, the development of products but basically when you use mortar and pestle and then make the formula then what happens it is it can be for a dispensing pharmacy where you make it and use it within one month or whatever it is the patient use it shakes and use it now if it is for an industry and if you are going to make bulk product and then it has to have a shelf life of two to three years two years so now what can be the new approach calamine lotion formula you can have new approaches also so you can use additional suspending agent like xanthan gum no you can have the main vessel water then you disperse xanthan gum in the water then you have uh, kaoli the kaolin zinc oxide and the calamin right wet with glycerin and part of water make a paste okay so now you have made the paste with kaolin zinc oxide calamin with glycerin and water you have to make a paste now this paste has to be like whatever we do in the modern pestle you know that sort of thing in the factory there are a lot of other techniques one such technique is a triple roll mill right when you make this paste what happens you no know, this is a triple roll mill right so you have to charge the paste here and it is blended it passes through the rolls and it comes out like a film here particles it particle size reduces not only that the it blends well kaolin zinc oxide calamin no and the glycerin wetting happens the glycerin glycerin coating happens very effectively and when you add you make collect you you run through a triple mill the paste you formed run through the triple mill and then that paste you add to the dispersion right water xanthan gum dispersion you can heat it to 65 70 uh, degrees or a little more so you can add preservative uh, later preservative here then uh, later Uh, blend it well in this you can homogenize also right and then cool 
and then add the perfume right so this is a method that can that that will be very effective in making a very very uniform smooth lotion in a factory scale right this is one of the approaches so from the laboratory mortar and pestle approach how the the process can be upscaled right so now we will see a video on how a triple roll mill works the working of a triple mill triple roll mill right so this is the triple roll the the paste that is that has to be size reduced is charged in here like this and then it size reduced and the it, it completely blends all the pigments blends size reduced and then the final blend comes out in the, in the here and this is added to the product and then made up right so then the product will be much more stable particle size reduced the particles are completely wet and suspensions are much more stable right this is the triple roll mill you no know, uh, which in the lab the modern pestle you no know, all those aspects this is a triple roll mill used in the factory for, for various purposes right way forward whenever uh, you develop a formula in the lab you have to have the theoretical aspects of it very thorough for example calamine lotion you can't add something which will neutralize the charge of these particles and allow the particles to settle whatever you do right uh, if you have wrong ingredients then there can be an instability so the theoretical then when there is an instability then you have you can point out where where is the problem and you can correct it correct the problem when the theoretical background is strong so what we have discussed all this time we have discussed this is part 51 we have discussed the substrates we have discussed the problems that uh, skin and hair and oral problems that can be addressed with personal care and cosmetic products and we have uh, discussed in detail the building blocks right including the actives right now it is important uh, you have to put all the all all the things together and see how we can make formulations with this right so that knowledge is very important first of all understand what is there what are the emol what are emollients what are surfactants what are emulsifying agents what are humectants right what are rheological modifying agents what are the actives approach for aging what are the actives approach for blemish what are the actives approach for why these things are caused what are sunscreens what are the sunscreens available in the market what causes body odor what are the current approaches what are the actives available right what are the ingredients available how can we put the ingredients together this is what is very very important because uh, that creates a great scientist right now way forward what we will do is we will classify all the uh, the products in the cosmetics and then evaluate a tentative formula right which can be a broad formula for each of these things for example shampoo what are the uh, what are the uh, what are shampoo formulations and what is the function of each ingredient and how to construct a shampoo formulation how to construct a lip li, uh, lipstick formulation right how to construct a toothpaste formulation so we will we will get into those aspects 
uh, in future right that's what i wish to do thank you from you all you can call me and uh, tell me this can be approached like this so this is what we require so we i need more interactions thank you thank you for listening to me and uh, till we get connected in the next session bye to you all be happy be smiling be safe thank you